Hey there. Welcome to Birmingham traffic. Yep, here we are. Yeah, we are headed to the beach for spring break. Holly and Shannon have uh, Huntsville under control, so our family is headed that way. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit cold, but, you know, it's, we're going to be at the beach, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, our timing uh, is great. We were making it to Destin just in time for the cold snap, and we managed to hit downtown Birmingham at 5.15 on yeah. a Wednesday. Yeah, super yeah. fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Super it's fun. Good. Um, hey, we wanted to jump on and give you a real quick update on the market stats. They're in from February, um, and really, most everything is... Um, it looks very similar the biggest the two biggest things days on market and inventory those are their, our two biggest things um, as far as like um, price price continues to increase um, the average price per, price on a home and then um, the number of homes sold actually is very similar to last year too so um, it's really kind of cool because that means we have a, still have a really strong market but the biggest yeah. change is there's nearly three times the inventory on yeah. the market right now than yeah. there was last year. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that days on market goes up, that there's more inventory. That right. does make sense. The thing that's really interesting is that average home price is actually also it's, up. It's so it's it's considerably higher. Um, so. And so, so yeah, your average days on market is still right around 36. I like to remind people when I started in real, real estate, the average days on market was like 150. So, I mean, 30 days on market, um, you're still going to be able to get your house sold. Um, and usually at the price that you want to sell it at. Um, and um, that's pretty exciting. So it's definitely um, still a good seller's market. You may just have to be a little bit patient, um, but for our buyers, we keep saying this over and over again, um, for our buyers, there's more on the market to choose from. So you're not gonna be stuck doing crazy things. However, I mean, yeah. we've seen a lot of multiple offers the last two we weeks. Have. I mean, it really, it is interesting. And the thing is, it's like some of the homes are sitting there for a while and then others are going like within the first week with multiple offers and I, and I really think it just now I mean you can really tell it matters what your home looks like and right. how it presents exactly. like it really does um, and so you know if you got a house that's ready to move in good to go then it's likely to go quickly so. yeah I mean the move-in ready homes are the ones that are selling with multiple offers um, and we offer a, a consultation with you guys um, free of charge there's no commitment or anything like that we just want to come in and, yeah. and kind of help you evaluate like okay if you were to put your market, house on the market these are the things that we would do because honestly sometimes like things that you think have to be done because you've been living there and it's been annoying you for years and years the buyer is not going to look at but yeah. there are things that mean a lot to a buyer Yep. And so um, we have really good knowledge of that. And we can help you do that. And then we do a staging appointment as well um, to help you get your house ready to present. Yep. Um, and it, um, and that, it makes such a difference. Little details like that are going to be the things that help make your house sell quickly right. versus sitting for those 30-something days. Yep, it's true. So, All right. Yeah, so if you, if you do have any questions about those things or... If you have a friend or anything that might be thinking about listing, just pass this video along to them. We'd love to talk to them uh, and help them out um, however we can. Yeah. So just let us know how we can help. And, uh, yeah, hope uh, I hope you're not sitting in traffic like we are. Yeah. Y'all have a great spring break.